hello guys and welcome to a brand new video okay uh, like I'm replacing uh, like today was attack on Titan day and obviously like uh, attack on Titan episode number five has been delayed by one week so I have nothing to do so I thought uh, like I'll probably like react to an opening I was planning on doing this later on but uh, like turns out I have an additional day uh, additional like open day so I thought just like let me just do it today so and uh, this opening is uh, from Beastars season 2 and uh, like this is quite surprising because usually like the openings come out uh, after the animes air but uh, it is obviously by like this from Netflix so they I think uh, released the opening uh, before the anime aired and uh, we had already like heard a little bit of the opening from the trailer and I loved it like i'm guessing that was the like chorus of the song that we heard and the chorus was so damn good like uh it's still like uh stuck in my head that like upbeat kind of music so i'm really looking forward to this uh opening and uh this is uh called uh kaibutsu by uh yoasobi and uh like yoasobi i've seen a lot of people in the comment section saying that uh USB is like I think pretty uh, like popular I, I did not know them uh, this is the first time that I am uh, like listening to one of their songs so uh, from the trailer I could like uh, understand that it will be pretty damn good uh, so like I'm quite looking forward to this app opening so yeah guys uh, let's start and obviously I'm going to like uh, edit the whole video will be a lot edited because of copyright problems and I might like mute certain portions of the uh, uh, like song audio and uh, the video will also be highly edited so uh, like keep that in mind so yeah guys um, let's get started with uh, Beastars season 2 uh, opening and I'll talk about it after the opening ends so let's start all right so here we go okay oh the beat ah Okay, starting slow wow the um oh the tree with uh, the missing posters I'm guessing those are wow the drawings are extremely pleasing to the eye like this black and red kind of uh, shading oh boy I oh, hate this okay <laughs> Oh my god, I love this portion so much in the trailer. Oh boy. Oh, we're seeing a lot of Haru. And I, I, that's the snake we saw in the trailer. Oh my god, this song is amazing. Like, oh, that banger. Like, the openings that are coming out one after the other. Oh my god. Oh boy, here it is. We're seeing a lot of Haru and Legoshi. Like, that's a good thing. Ah, there it is. Oh, this beat is so damn, like, ah, upbeat and everything. And this, like, the manga pan panels falling one on top of the other with the logo. All right. Ah, that's the end. Wow. Um, that was amazing. And... I'll probably like listen to this <laughs> opening uh, daily uh, from now on because this is a damn good opening and I loved it. Uh, you also be. I should also like uh, listen to some of the other songs that uh, I'm sure they've done some other songs. I I don't know, so I should probably start listening to them as well because uh, I really liked uh, the like style of music they kind of like did and the beats were amazing. Like um yeah like uh. So, like I've heard a lot of opening songs and everything but there are like a few only opening songs which have good beats and good music like that is accompanying the vocals and I have to say the vocals were amazing in this uh, opening and the beats were on another level like I really love the like upbeat kind of uh, the music uh, and I don't know what uh, type of music this is called I am like not knowledgeable about that but this was extremely um, like what can I say upbeat and uh, uh, funky can I call it that I don't know I, I'm not I'm really not like accustomed to different uh, like style of music the names 
so I cannot say anything uh, about that but uh, one thing I know that I enjoyed it immensely like um, like when I heard like when I saw the trailer um, uh, the little portion of the opening that they like uh, showed us uh, not showed us but they uh, like played uh, like uh, the little portion was enough to like make me uh, understand that yeah this will be another banger and yeah this was a banger and yeah uh, let's talk about the visuals uh, the visuals are extremely as i said uh, the uh, like this art style of like uh, like legoshi sitting down uh, in front of haru uh, with the like reflection of something and uh, the white reflection and there is like red uh, colored flowers uh, white colored flowers in a back uh, black background uh, and the uh, railing or i think that's the railing uh, is like red colored the buildings are like uh, in a like uh, light shade of gray with a uh, black uh, sky with uh, stars twinkling in it uh, like this uh, whole scene is so amazing um, the art and the the way they like um, like the art that they did like uh, Haru like uh, when we see Haru in, like a close-up of Haru looking down um, yeah like uh, I'm also not sure what this uh, particular style of art is called like I've seen this style of art in a lot of like uh, places and I'm not sure what they actually call it but it's so good like uh, there's no like um, outlines only with the colors and uh, like only one type of color no like shading like there is a shading but the colors are distinct and everything and uh, yeah like uh, this was a really good type of um, like art that they uh, opted for the opening and we also like see uh, when Legoshi is like a close-up of Legoshi we're seeing there's like uh, uh, like letters uh, like words inside of him like I can like read this I want to eat that I want to eat that right now yeah this kind of like letters inside Legoshi uh, I'm guessing those are obviously his instincts as we saw in uh, like season one like obviously the whole thing of uh, Beastars is that <coughs> The instincts of a carnivore and a legoshi kind of fighting against that so like that is beastars like fighting against your like carnivorous instinct and uh, like uh, him falling in love with a herbivore and uh, fighting against his like own uh, like uh, uh, bloodthirst I'm guessing should yeah like bloodthirst or like instincts as they say um, yeah that that was it and what else yeah the art was extremely well done like obviously like the art is well done the music is well done um the story in itself is so good so yeah this will be something amazing i can see and um b stars uh, i'm not sure the actual popularity of b stars what it is but i like enjoyed season one so like so much like this is a really unique anime as I said before um, like Beastars is kind of a, um, what can I say um, like a, an anime that we barely see uh, when I started Beastars like obviously like I like everyone like everyone in the anime is kind of uh, skeptical towards CGI and I'm also like that like I'm really skeptical towards CGI but like uh, Hoseki no Kuni that is uh, what was the English name of that? Uh, the one with the gems like anthropomorphic gems uh, you guys have seen it like i cannot remember the english name but uh, it was called hosiki no kuni um that uh, that one like that really did the cgi so damn well and like i watched it and i really enjoyed it so i was also thinking uh, like if they are going to do this good as well and my like uh, expectations were not like uh, let down Beastars was amazing when I saw season one and it had an amazing like plot and I really like it took me like n like almost no time to like really uh, start enjoying this show and really like like this show and I was really waiting for season two like I knew like they when they ended season one they already said that uh, season two is in production or something I, I cannot remember actually the actual words but it was something like that and i was really excited for season two and here it is and when i saw season one i will really i did not do youtube reactions so now like as i'm doing youtube reactions and i'll react to this from season two um i think uh Beastars will come out tomorrow i'm guessing 
on the fifth i think uh, was it the fifth yeah i think it's the fifth so i'll uh, probably do uh, like the reactions of vistas on the sixth like after a day so if you guys are interested in it please be sure to like tune in as well uh, i'll be putting out reactions on it and yeah so this episode like this opening was like solely focused on legoshi and haru like we saw uh, a few others as well for example uh, i think this is the um uh, that uh, i forgot the name uh, the uh, what was that like uh, the 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 uh, and uh, like the person who we saw in the like almost at the beginning of the, the, i think episode 1 or 2 the is that a ram i i cannot I cannot remember like there was like a girl wasn't there like uh, who was uh, like who was uh, extremely scared of Legoshi first but when she got to meet Legoshi she like mellowed out um, that I think uh, it's that person here uh, when we see like the opening start and uh, then we see like these missing posters uh, of like Luis we can see and a few other missing posters as well on the tree trunk on the bulletin board and then we see Haru uh, kind of cowering in fear and Legoshi like uh, kneeling in front of her and then suddenly Haru like uh, I don't know disappears and then we again see Haru and Legoshi fighting his instincts and then we see like Legoshi running out and uh, running from I'm guessing his instincts and um, then we see Haru's face and then we see the snake that we saw in the trailer I think and uh, then we see a a few silhouettes as well and what else do we see mm, again Legoshi silhouette and then we see Legoshi and like then we see Haru running from someone or something and Legoshi is like coming yeah Legoshi coming to her rescue taking her hand and like running out into the light and then they like stand there looking out into the sunrise or something yeah that was it and yeah as, as i was saying like it was extremely colorful extremely like the music was extremely good everything was top notch and i'm really excited for season two to start mm, the story so damn good and yeah that was my reaction to vista's uh season two opening and uh yeah, I, I I can uh like we're probably going to see uh the like like go into the whole missing thing which was kind of like shown in season one like uh there was like this uh, person missing and there was like a uh, suspicion going on that some kind of carnivore kind of kidnapped him or like killed him or something and uh, yeah this whole thing of like uh, herbivores missing. Uh, and we also saw in the end of season one that uh, there was like there a person who called uh, like who Legoshi knew. So I'm guessing uh, the the person who is responsible for this the like, disappearances or like killings uh, that must be someone who Legoshi knew. Uh, as in the end of season one, we kind of saw like the criminal's perspective, and Legoshi kind of came out and said that uh, said something I cannot remember. It's been quite a while I saw season one. Uh, said something to him and yeah that was the end of season one so i'm guessing we're going to like uh, go into more like into that in, in season two so yeah and the whole thing with louis disappearing and everything who's going to be the b star all of these things so yeah guys uh that was this uh reaction uh, reaction to the opening of b star season two and yo asubi i'm going to check them out uh, i really enjoyed their music and i'm probably like going to check them out as uh, like their other songs as well so yeah so anyways guys uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below uh, your anything you want to say uh, your opinion on beastars or anything you want to uh, like say in the comment section i'll be sure to check them out and uh, reply to them and um so yeah that's it uh thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day